Hi guys, it's Michael here and today I'm going to run through with you quickly how you can use Divi Builder elements such as the circle number counter in your videos, like this example. So for this you're going to need three things. Um, you're going to need obviously a copy of the Divi Builder and I've linked in the description where you can get this from. You will need a video editing program, I'm using Adobe Premiere. The main thing with the, the, the video editor is that it needs to have green screening capabilities. If you don't have access to a video editor that has green screening, I will show you at the end of the video um, another way you can achieve this. The last thing you're going to need is something to record your screen with. I'm using QuickTime Player, it records the screen quite nicely on Mac and it's built in, you don't need to download anything. Um, if you're using Windows, you can use something like VLC Player um, or even Bandicam. So we're going to start off in Divi and we're going to set this up so we have a green screen in the background. It's fairly simple to do, I'll just create a new row here. So in your row settings, you just want to add a background colour. I'm using green, it doesn't have to be green. Um, you can obviously use blue or red, um, it just depends what colours you're going to have over the top of it. Once you've set your colour, you just need to go into the custom CSS and put CSS height 100VH. This will set the CSS, uh, set, this will set the div to be full height. Once you've done this, you can choose your module from the list. I'm choosing the circle counter. Um, you can add in the title and then add the number for the percentage. Obviously, you can turn the percentage off, and I'm just choosing white as my colour. So once you're happy with that, just mess around with your font size for the title. I chose not to use Divi's title because it was restricting it to a small width, so I just removed that here quickly. So I just preview it again really quick, and I've actually decided I'm going to use a pink instead of a white for the circle. Um, you'll notice that when you preview this most times, it's not going to look very nice in the Divi Builder because it's got that green in the background, but just sort of picture it over what you're going to be putting it over because it won't always look like that. So once you're happy with it, um, update that page and open it in a new tab. So once you've loaded that page, you just need to zoom in. On Mac it's Command Plus and on Windows it's Control Plus. Do that a couple of times until it's filling up the whole screen and refresh just to make sure it's, it's loading correctly. Once you're happy with that, open up QuickTime Player and we're going to go to File, New Screen Recording and Record and then select the bounding box that we would like to record in. Once you're happy with your selection, just hit Record and then refresh the page. I advise refreshing the page a couple of times just to make sure you're happy with the recording and just check it before you save it just to make sure it recorded properly. Once you're happy with it, save that onto your computer and we'll be dragging that into Adobe Premiere. Alright, now that we've got it in Adobe Premiere, uh, you just want to double click on the clip, don't drag it straight into the composition. Um, you just want to cut out that bit at the beginning before you refresh the page and then crop it to where you started um, actually playing the animation. Now that we've got that we can drag it into the composition and you'll notice that it has that green box around it still. So we want to go to the effects panel in Premiere and search for Ultra Key. Once we've got Ultra Key open we just need to choose the eyedropper and then select the green on the image and it will automatically remove that colour. Obviously if you don't have Adobe Premiere you'll just need to find an effect um, other than Ultra Key that will do a similar green screening effect. So now that we've done this you just need to resize it um, and put it where you want to do, um, put in the animations you want with it. I'm just speeding up my process here and make it how you want it to be. It's fairly simple. So this is the final product I got from that one and I've also added a number counter after this one just so you can see what that would look like in video. Now, if you don't have green screening, you can follow these steps here um, to achieve a fairly similar effect and fairly simply. So you need to go into the Divi Builder again. And instead of green this time, you're going to choose a colour that you want to be the background. Um, it's not going to be removed. So I've chosen a pink 
and I'm going to change my text color and my circle color to white um, so that you can read it fairly easily. Now that you've done that, you can open that in a new tab again and refresh just to check what it's going to look like. So you just want to zoom in again with Command Plus or Control Plus on Windows and then open QuickTime and go to File, New, new Screen Recording. Click the record button and choose your bounding box and then hit start recording. Refresh the page a couple of times just to make sure that it records it properly and then you can stop the recording, preview it and if you're happy with it, save the file. Alright, so now that we've got the file, we can bring it into Adobe Premiere and we're going to be creating a color mat um, to match that color. So we go down to the new item and color mat and then choose the drop eyedropper and choose that pink color in the background. Now that we've created that, we just need to resize it up and drag it to where we want it to be. You can choose whether you want it to um, fill the full frame or to come in from the top or sides. I chose to make it a sidebar myself. Um, which you'll see in a second. So once again you just need to crop around your clip to make sure you lose that beginning before you refresh the page and then add any crossovers um, that you want to the video. So here I'm just animating the sidebar to scroll in from the left and I'm gonna add a couple of uh, I'm just gonna add a auto bezier to it and mess with the curves a little bit to make the transition a little bit fancier rather than linear. Once you're happy with that, you can add any text and any other elements that you want to the to the composition and check it just by playing it once over. So that's my final result from the non-green screen effect. I was quite happy with it and obviously you can use these techniques to make it uh, suit your composition. Thank you for watching.